mean, there are a few departments that certainly it had the same effect, right? Like, you have to think, how can we do this the most efficiently or whatever. What we ended up moving to is that kind of style where rather than deciding and pricing something on the spot, which is what they were doing before when they were handwriting tickets, they're basically, keep it, send it, and for keeping it, is it 50 cents a dollar, two dollars, two dollars. So we eliminated the smaller increments, right? So the difference, cents. yeah, the oh. difference between one dollar and two dollar, like, let's just make the call. Where some of our ladies would go 125 or 150 right, right. and then some 175 like, that really helps with pricing consistency. Um, but also kind of sped up the sort a bit because once you decide the volume, then we're just grabbing the bin, walking over to the tagging station, and then we can have really anybody doing the sticker. Good morning. So one of, one of the other examples would be yarn, right? Nobody really understands yarn unless you're a knitter. Right. I can get anybody to run the machine. I can get anybody to ticket the yarn. And they're set up the same way, just larger tubs. And like the gray the tubs are just labeled with pricing. You're just chucking it in the value. And then they can sit there and they're done in. Yes. What are those green ones? So those came out of um, an inspection that we had. Fire did not like the amount of combustibles that we had using the cardboard banana boxes. Also, we had problems with the bottoms are falling out of it. Yeah. So I just went on a little research assignment and came up with the tubs because they're stronger handles, they're more durable, they fit our shelving, they're stackable, like nesting stackable, mm -hmm. but then when you offshoot them, then they stack that way, which is a lot safer because sometimes when we go in outside of the shelter, it's hard to over. Do you guys run any power here?